Hey, what's up everybody? Ricky Carruth here. Today I want to talk to you guys about my phone scripts. Okay, so my phone scripts I have perfected over decades, right? I've tried a lot of stuff. There's a lot of trial and error that's went behind it. Um, you can download my phone scripts for free at zerodiamond.com as well as all my other coaching tools, 90 day action plan, 30 day jumpstart, online class, videos, tutorials. There's videos of me making cold calls that you can watch and learn how um, my tone is and learn what I say and learn how I say it and figure out how I read people and so on and so forth. It's all free. So zero to diamond.com for that. But I want to do this video to just kind of give you guys the, the, the real details of the, uh, of the phone script and what's really behind it because I think that more importantly than what you say, it's how you say it. But if you can combine what you're saying and master how you're saying it, that's even better. Okay, so um, the first thing I want you to do is realize that one thing that I try to do with this phone script is communicate who I am as a person and my personality. I want to convey that to my prospect. I want to communicate who I am to my prospect, to my clients, to my friends, to my family, right? So the way that we're going to approach prospects is the same as if they were a friend or a family. Okay, our job as a real estate agent is to make them feel comfortable with you, right? The number one skill that you should really be working on is how to make people feel comfortable with you, how to become likable, um, how to show them who you are and see if your personality connects with them. So it's a lot deeper than just print out a phone script and you got the words you need to say and then you call people up and you say those words and then magic happens, right? That's not the case. What actually happens is um, you, you get the words, right? And then you don't know exactly how to say them. Then you make the phone calls, you make a certain amount of phone calls and you become better and better over time. Um, it took me years and years of learning what to say and how to say it. And it wasn't until closer to the end of me building a huge real estate business that I actually realized it was more about how you say what you're saying than what you're saying. So um, I think that you just have to make the calls. I think a lot of people are scared to make the calls. I think they want everything to be perfect. They want all their skills to be the best before they make the calls. They don't want to run in any kind of sticky situations like how did you get my number or you know, uh, we're already listed with somebody or something, some kind of sticky situation like that that they feel like they're gonna, or somebody hangs up on them or asks them why they're calling or tells them they're too busy, what do you want? I think people are worried about stuff like this and you just shouldn't be. Um, you just go with the flow. If they say they're too busy, you run through the phone script really fast, right? As in respect of their time. Okay, so let me run through the phone script real quick. And then I'm going to kind of, at the end, I'm going to kind of go into some finer details, uh, you know, deeper with uh, the psychology behind it. Okay, so... This is for circle prospecting, right? But this phone script is actually universal. This phone script can be used for expireds. It can be used for, for sale by owners. It can be used for door knocking. It can be used for buyers. It can be used for online leads, sign calls, anything, right? You can use this script. Really, if you really think about it, you can really use this script for just about any business too. So. Okay, so the phone rings, ring, 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 hello. I'm gonna say, Mr. Johnson. Now I'm saying Mr. Johnson like it's a question mark, right? I want everything I say to be really short and sweet um, and to the point, and I wanna emphasize. So, Mr. Johnson, right? You're trying to identify that you're talking to the right person. And, but you don't want to say a lot of words, right? You don't say, hey, is Mr. Johnson there? Or, you know, that's okay, right? But we want, to, we want to be, it's little things that really matter when you're making phone calls because this is somebody you don't know, 
So it's the little things that really go a long way. Okay, so Mr. Johnson, and then he identifies himself or what have you. You know, yeah, this is Mr. Johnson. Hey, Mr. Johnson, this is Ricky Carruth down at Remax of Orange Beach. How you doing today? And then you pause and you wait and you let him speak, okay? This first little part is made to introduce yourself to the prospect and ask him how his day is going. And then you pause, okay? We're doing a lot of things at once. We're identifying who he is, we're, identif we're, we're introducing ourselves. we're asking him how his day is, which is very polite, but then we're waiting his, for his response so that we can start to read him or her, we can start to read the prospect, um, what kind of mood they're in, how their day's going, are they happy, sad, busy, mad? So that's what this is for. It's a lot of things going on at once. And uh, so, you know, when you say, you know, hey, this is Ricky Carruth at, at Remax of Orange Beach, how you doing today? You know, they may say, I'm doing good, how about you? Right, and then you're gonna say something that's not real estate related. I like to talk about the weather. It can be Christmas, Thanksgiving, New Year's. I like to say, yeah, I'm doing good too, just enjoying the day. Isn't it gorgeous? Right, so now I've asked a second question that has nothing to do with real estate. We've asked him how he's doing, and now we're gonna ask him, isn't it gorgeous, right? If it's raining, it's like, oh, I'm just trying to stay dry. Isn't it nasty out there? Or, um, you know, I'm doing good too. Just, just getting ready for Christmas. How about you guys? Or how was your first? How was your Thanksgiving? Um, there's a lot of things that just come to my mind when I'm making calls about what's going on currently in the world or through the year or in the news or something that I'll use, right? But my, but my universal one, my, my generic one, my general one is the weather. Everybody can relate to the weather. I don't care where you are, right? And if you're calling somebody who's in a different area, they may start comparing notes about the weather. You know, I've got into talks about the weather that lasted five, 10 minutes before we even got into the real estate part. So it eases them up. Right, they hear you're in real estate and they kind of got their guard up, but then you ask them about the weather and then they start talking. Now they're just kind of loosened up, right? Um, so it's very important. Also, you're using these first two questions, how are you doing? And I'm enjoying the day, isn't it gorgeous? You're using those two questions and you're waiting for a response so that you can read them, right? You got two questions that you are able to, to get a read on them to see how their day's going and see what kind of person they are, you know, see what kind of mood they're in. And then you're gonna take the, the conversation according to how you read them, right? This is big, right? This is huge. So once we get to the weather part of the call, we're gonna ask them that. Maybe that's an awkward moment because they're like, uh, yeah, why are you calling me or something? Or maybe they start talking about the weather, but then that part abruptly stops right? You got to be ready for the transition, right? The transition from that part of the call to why you're calling is, I got you. Well, look, I don't want to take up too much of your time today, but a house down the road just sold just like yours. And I didn't know if there's anything I could do to help you today. So your transitions, right? There's two big transitions in this phone script. The first one is, is and the transitions are used for awkward moments in the call that most people stumble on, they don't know what to do. It's, it's used to keep the conversation going in a positive direction, transition away from the awkwardness and transition into a very nice flowing conversation. You want this conversation to be flowing. You want this conversation to feel like you're talking to a friend or a family. You want them to feel comfortable with you, right? And, and your tone, speed of your voice, how you talk, it, it all plays a part and you only get better with practice. The best thing I can tell you to do is make lots of calls, thousands and thousands of calls, and then, right, and then start to refine your skills. But until you get through the barrier of thousands and thousands of calls, you're just always gonna have that fear, you're always gonna have that uncertainty, you're always gonna have that little feeling in your stomach, right? Three, two, one club. If something scares you, say three, two, one, and just do it. 
Okay, back to the call. Um, okay, so I'm enjoying the day. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah, yeah, we're, us too. We, we were this, we were that. You know, it's snowing up here, whatever. I got you. Well, look, man, I don't want to take up too much of your time today, but there was a property down the road, a house over here, something just listed. I just sold something. I just listed something on your street, and I didn't know if there's anything I could do to help you. This is where a lot of realtors want to talk a lot. They want to talk about the property. Hey, I just sold this property for four hundred thousand. We sold it in less than two days, and we had multiple offers, and it had a tile floor and a pool. Quit talking, right? Say it exactly like I'm saying it. Short, sweet, and to the point. When you start talking too much, it sounds telemarketing. It sounds salesperson-y. It doesn't sound like a friend or family calling, right? So. Hey, I don't want to take up too much of your time today, but I just listed a house right down the road from you and I didn't know if there's anything I could do to help you today, right? So right here, if they say, yeah, we were thinking about this, we're thinking about that, I'm immediately going to say, oh, okay, cool. Is there an agent that you're working with on that? The reason I want to ask that is because I want to go ahead and pre-qualify the fact that they do or don't have a relationship in place already because you never know if you're talking to somebody and their mom is a realtor. A lot of agents have conversations, great conversations with prospects and they think, I have this client for life, this is great, everything's great, we get along and you think everything's cool but you don't know that that person's mom is an agent because you didn't ask them, do they have an agent they're going to work with if they ever were to do something. So we're going to pre-qualify them. Is the door open for a lifelong relationship with this person as a real estate agent, right, for me to capitalize on? So if they say, yeah, we're interested in this or that, okay, cool. Is there an agent you're working with on that? And if so, it's like, uh, okay, you know, you got to kind of backpedal a little bit. I'm not saying run away, fill the situation out, right? You'll get better with that, at, at, better with that with time. Um, you know, but just see where that goes, okay? But most, most responses are gonna be no. There's nothing you can do for me right now. That's what you're looking for, okay? Really, that's what you're looking for uh, because that's, that's your biggest response from that question. When you get your yeses, follow those yeses, do your deals. This phone script will get you business right now because you're running into people that have decided they're gonna do something soon um, and your business for the future, huge business for the future because you're gonna develop lifelong relationships from this. So you're gonna build your business now and later all at the same time during the same phone call session and you're never going to ask anybody if they want to buy or sell. You're asking them if there's anything you can do for them today to help them. Okay? So when they say no, it's like, I got you. Well, look. Okay, here's the other, the second transition. The first transition was, I got you. Well, look, I don't want to take up too much of your time today. The second transition is, I got you. Well, look, is there an agent in the area that you would work with if you were to buy or sell something? Let's pre-qualify them right here to see if the door is open for a lifelong relationship. Our goal is lifelong relationships with as many property owners as we can as we can create. Whoever, whatever agent holds the most real relationships with property owners in their area owns the market share. It's not how many listings you have or sales, yada, yada. It's how many real relationships you have in place with the most property owners. That's market share. That agent holds all the future business and that's what I trade market share on for real estate agents. How many future deals do you have in the works? And relationships are the key. Okay, so that's what we're building here. So I got you. Well, look, is there an agent in the area that you would work with if you were to buy or sell something? Um, if yes, then you might ask who it is. You might say, I got you. You know, that I know them. They're a great agent. Look, if there's ever anything I can do for you, please let me know. But you're in good hands. You know, have a good day. Okay, they've already said that they don't want to do a deal, right? Now they're telling you that they have an agent that they would do a deal with, even if they're pulling your leg, even if they're lying to you, you know, just to get you off the phone, you can't really press the issue right there. That's, you know, you gotta pick your spots and that's really not really the spot to pick right there. So, 
Um, okay, let's see, where were we in, in the script? Okay, oh, do you have an agent you're working with, right? Okay, well look, is there an agent in the area that you would work with if you were to buy or sell something? No. I got you. Well, look, man, I'm sure at some point you're going to want to buy or sell something. I don't know, maybe five or 10 years down the road, but I would love the opportunity to work with you when that day comes. Would it be okay if I stayed in touch with you? They're going to say yes. If you made it this far in the conversation, they're going to say yes because you're not threatening them, right? Yet. You're not asking for any private information. They're thinking you're probably gonna call them every six months or send them a postcard every once in a while, right? So they're gonna say yes. Once they say yes, you say, okay, cool, what's your email address? Right, so if you see what I did there, I make them commit to the fact that it's okay for me to stay in touch with them before I ask for the email address. That's a very, very important part of this because if you just come out and say, hey, what's your email address? Most of them are gonna say no, right? But if you ask them if it's okay to stay in touch, before you give the email address, before you ask for the email address, your chances are significantly higher for them to give you that email address. If you've talked to them right, if you've made them feel comfortable, which is what you're supposed to do, you're gonna get it most of the time. If they say no, say listen, I understand, I get it, but here's the thing. I'm not going to spam you. I just want the opportunity to stay in touch with you. That's all. You know, can I please have it? Ask them again. See if they'll give it to you. One thing you don't want to do is say, hey, I'm going to put you on a, a list to get my weekly email, which is what you're going to do, but you're not going to tell them that. You always want to just use the, 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 the excuse that you want to stay in touch with them right? That's going to make them feel comfortable. If you say you're going to send a market report, you know, that's going to make them feel like they're just another number on your big list. Okay. You want to make them feel special, not like they're part of this herd of people that you're sending this report to. I never think you should say, who do you know that wants to buy or sell? Because I think that that turns a conversation around from you helping them to them helping you, right? You can't help me. So who do you know that could help me? Right? You don't want to come across like that. You're going to lose people like that. You're going to lose lifelong relationships that could add up to be huge business in the future by asking that question. So those are some things not to do. So that's the script. Let me run through it again since I kind of broke it down in detail and kind of stopped you know, at different places to explain stuff. Let me just run through it. And then um, I'll just go maybe a little deeper with it for a second with the philosophy behind it. So ring, 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 hello. Mr. Johnson? Yeah, this is Mr. Johnson. Hey, Mr. Johnson, this is Ricky Carruth down at Remax of Orange Beach. How are you doing today? I'm doing good, Ricky, how about you? I'm doing good too, just enjoying the day. Isn't it gorgeous outside? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, look, man, I don't wanna take up too much of your time today, but I just sold a house right down the road from you and I didn't know if there was anything I could do to help you today. Uh, not really, Ricky. Oh, I got you. Well, look, man, is there an agent in the area that you would work with if you were to buy or sell something? No, 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 not really. Okay, well, cool, man. Look, listen, I'm sure at some point you're going to want to buy or sell something, maybe five or ten years down the road, man, I don't know, but I would love the opportunity to work with you when that day comes. Would it be okay if I stayed in touch with you? Sure. Cool. What's your email address? Boom. Right, so that's the script. Now you can now you can change it up. You can morph it into whatever you want. You can do excuse this for expires, for sale by owners. Hey, is this the owner of whatever? Hey, this is Ricky Cruth from Remax Arms Beach. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm just enjoying the day. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah, well look, man, I don't want to take up too much of your time today, but I saw your house was for sale by owner. I saw your house expired off the market. I didn't know if there's anything I could do to help you. Not asking them to buy or sell. You're coming across very low pressure. You're coming across like you actually care about them. You want to help them. You're seeing what you can do to help them. This is communicating who you are with them. This, this is lining up who you are with how you communicate with your prospects. That's what this phone script does. This phone script is a very deep-seated philosophy um, phone script. I mean, it, it, it really goes deep in relationship building. Um, and there's so many little things about it that, that's so good. You know, it's so, it's so golden. So 
Uh, anyway, I just wanted to explain my phone script to you guys since now all my coaching's free. My phone script is something I really held close. I didn't want to give it out to the public because I wanted there to be a reason for agents to sign up for my coaching and pay me. And now that I decided I'm, I'm not doing that, I feel so liberated. I can tell you guys everything about everything I'm doing. I can teach you everything I know for free and you guys can just go crush it. And when I come do a speech in your area, you're gonna come see me. Every time I write a book, you're gonna buy it. So that's kind of where I'm gonna win in terms of coaching for free. I love this method, this, this business model for the coaching because I can help so many uh, more agents than I was helping. Since I flipped the coaching program from a paid business model to free uh, less than a week ago, I've signed up over 1,100 new students. I had 200 over the past year sign up, and, and, and since that was over a year, and then last week I flipped it to free. Since then, 1,100 more have signed up and are taking in all the content, printing out the phone scripts, I have a 90-day action plan. It's everything that has got me where I am. Uh, you know, as far as a million dollar a year producer as a single agent. And I just want you guys to, to just dive in and understand this about Zero to Diamond. It's not just circle prospecting. It's not just phone calls, right? There's a lot of social media stuff and more so a lot of mindset stuff. There's a lot of mindset, hard work, there's no losses in real estate, dual purpose. Um, there's a lot of mindset stuff behind Zero to Diamond that is really gonna put you on, in a whole other place mentally. Even if you don't do cold calls, even if you don't do business the way that I do it. Um, so I think there's a lot of benefit to everybody in the program, regardless of what your strategy is. Um, if nothing else, just to get a different angle and just to learn how somebody else has, has created the kind of business that you might want to create. Um, and even if you're a million dollar producer, you can still appreciate a lot of the stuff in there and I'm sure get something out of it, as I do. I mean, I, I reach out to other agents when I do my interview shows. I'm, I'm learning stuff from these other agents and I soak up as much as I can soak up at all times. So anybody, anytime somebody gives me an opportunity to learn something new, I'm gonna take advantage of it and, and learn as much as I can and take it with me and try to apply it to my business because I like trying new things. It's all about trying new things, figuring out what works and what doesn't work. And what happens is, is you try a bunch of things out, out of 10 things you try, two work, you keep those two, you throw away eight, you try 10 more things, two work, you add those two to the two things that already work and slowly you start accumulating a large quantity of activities that really, really work well and are super efficient for you. So that's what it's all about. I appreciate you guys. Much love. Thanks for everybody who has signed up here lately. And I hope that you're taking advantage of it. And just reach out with any questions. And we'll talk to you guys real soon.